Today we will work on finding perimeter and area with polynomials. To review, what is a polynomial? Well, a monomial is a polynomial that has one term. A binomial is a polynomial that has two terms. And a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. To remember this, we can think of a bicycle has two wheels, so a binomial has two terms. Or a tricycle has three wheels. Or a triangle has three sides, so a trinomial has three terms. Label the rectangle or square with the given side lengths. Set up and simplify an expression for the perimeter and area of the shape. The rectangle with length x squared plus 2x plus 3. So my length is x squared plus 2x plus 3. What kind of polynomial is this? Well, I see that there is 1, 2, 3 terms. So this is a trinomial. Our width is 3x. So I will write our width as 3x. What kind of polynomial is 3x? That is simply one term, so it's called a monomial. Remember that perimeter is the sum of the side lengths. Perimeter is length plus the other length plus the width plus the width. And now we're going to combine like terms. x squared plus x squared results in 2x squared. When we combine like terms, the powers do not change, just the coefficients, those numbers in front. So 1x squared plus 1x squared is 2x squared. I have some x terms, so here's a positive 2x positive 2x, positive 3x, and a positive 3x. To combine those, 2x plus 2x plus 3x plus 3x, that is a positive 10x. And we also have some numbers to combine, a positive 3 and a positive 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So my perimeter is this polynomial. And that's not just any polynomial, that's a trinomial. To calculate the area, I need to multiply length times width. Anything that is a monomial does not need to be written in parentheses. Anything that is greater than a monomial, that's a group of some sort, a binomial, a trinomial, has to be written in parentheses so that you remember to distribute everything that you need to. So my monomial 3x does not need to be written in parentheses, but this trinomial, this length, does. So area in this case is a monomial times a trinomial. We have one term times a group of terms. So 3x must be distributed to each term in the group. 3x times x squared. That would be 3 times x times x times x. So that's x cubed. 3x times positive 2x is positive 6 x squared because there's an x attached to each term. 3x times positive 3 is positive 9x. Don't forget there should be an x on that term because we distributed an x to each. Here is my area. And look, the area also happens to be a trinomial. Interesting. The rectangle with length k squared plus 2k plus 3 and width 3k minus 1. My length k squared plus 2k plus 3, I will label on the rectangle, and our width, 3k minus 1, we will label as our width. To evaluate perimeter, we do the same thing we've been doing, length plus length, plus width plus width. 
go ahead and fill those in. Wow, we've got a lot of terms going on here. So let's begin with the k squared. Anything with a squared term, we will combine with this k squared. I have another positive k squared. So 1k squared plus 1k squared is 2k squared. Let's combine the terms with k. So 2k plus 2k plus 3k plus 3k. That is going to be a positive 10k because all those numbers are positive. And we have positive 3, positive 3, negative 1, negative 1. 6 minus 2 is positive 4. This right here is our perimeter. Let's take a look at our area. Anything that is a group has to be written in parentheses so that you remember to distribute everything that you need to. So let's look at our length and width. Our length right here has one, two, three terms. So we have a trinomial that definitely has to be written in parentheses. And our width, 3k minus 1, that has two terms, a 3k and a negative 1. That also needs to be written in parentheses. Go ahead and fill in your length times width here. As we mentioned before, 3k minus 1, our width, is a binomial. So 3k has to be multiplied by your length, but also negative 1. The second term in your binomial, that has to be multiplied by your length. It's not enough to just multiply 3k or just multiply negative 1 you have to double distribute. You have to distribute the binomial into the trinomial. So let's begin by distributing 3k. 3k times k squared is 3k to the power of 3. You have a k here and a k times k here. 3k times positive 2k is a positive 6k squared. 3k times positive 3 is positive 9k. I'm done with the first distribution. Now to the next. Negative 1 times k squared is negative 1k squared or negative k squared. Now you can drop the plus sign, but as you can see, the term after it is negative, so you don't actually have to write the plus sign. We can simply write it as negative k squared. Continuing, negative 1 times positive 2k is negative 2k. Negative 1 times positive 3 is negative 3. All right, we have an expression with several terms here. Let's see if we can combine any. I have a k to the power of 3. There are no like terms for that one, so I will just write 3k to the power of 3. There is a 6k squared and a negative k squared. Now remember, that's a negative 1k squared. So 6k squared minus 1k squared is 5k squared. We are combining like terms right now, and that's why the power does not change when you combine like terms. You have a 9k, a positive 9k, and a negative 2k. Positive 9k minus 2k is positive 7k and your number at the end is negative 3. So it looks like our area here has four terms. Interesting. There's another method for finding area, and that is known as the box or window method. Anytime you multiply a trinomial times a binomial, like we're doing here, I personally love the box method. So I'm going to write the length as the top of my box, and I'm going to separate those terms. So it'll be k squared 
and then positive 2k and positive 3. That's going to make up the columns. So now I can see that my box will have three columns, right? A k squared column, a 2k, and a 3. Now I need to write the width along this side of the box. The width has two terms, 3k and negative 1. So this box will have two rows, one for 3k and one for negative 1. Now I'm going to multiply row by column. 3k times k squared is 3k to the power of 3. 3k times 2k is 6k to the power of 2. 3k times positive 3 is positive 9k. Second row, negative 1 times k squared is negative k squared. Negative 1 times positive 2k is negative 2k. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. I do have some like terms within this box that I can combine. And you're not done here with the box method. You do need to combine those like terms and you need to write it out like we have done here. Our like terms are 6k squared and then there's another k squared term right here. So those can be combined. And then 9k can be combined with negative 2k. So I'll write my answer here. 3k cubed, 6k squared minus k squared is positive 5k squared. 9k minus 2k is positive 7k minus 3. Here is the box method or window method for the area of this rectangle. The length of my rectangle here is 2m squared minus m plus 3 and the width is 2m plus 1. Let's evaluate our perimeter by adding up those side lengths. Length plus length plus width plus width. Again we have like terms to combine so 2m squared plus 2m squared is 4m squared. Negative m, negative m, so that's minus negative 1m, negative 1m, positive 2m, positive 2m. That gives me positive 2m. Positive 3, positive 3, positive 1, positive 1. Those are all positive, so I'll add them and get a positive 8. There is my perimeter. I can't combine like terms any further. My area. Okay, remember that the length here involves three terms. That will have to be written in parentheses when I evaluate the area. And my width is a binomial. It's made up of two terms, 2m and a positive 1. So that must also be written in parentheses. We are multiplying a binomial times a trinomial. So I'm going to take the first term in the width, and that has to be multiplied by our length. And then we're going to add that to the second term in our width the second piece of our binomial, and that must be multiplied by our length. 2m goes here, and a positive 1 goes here. You don't have to put the plus because you see there's already a plus. Because you have a binomial, we have to double distribute. 2m times 2m squared is 4m cubed. 2m times negative 1m is negative 2, and there's an m attached to each term, so that would be m squared when you multiply. 2m times positive 3 is positive 6m plus 1 
times 2m squared is 2m squared. 1 times negative m is negative m. 1 times positive 3 is positive 3. Any like terms? Well, there only is one cubed term, so I'll write that here, 4m cubed. We have negative 2m squared plus 2m squared. Oh, negative 2m squared plus 2m squared is 0. Okay, positive 6m and a negative m gives me positive 5m and plus 3. This should be my area. To check, I'm going to use the box or window method. Because my length has three terms, I'm going to have three columns. And because my width has two terms, my box is going to have two rows, just like the one we did before. 2m squared, then negative m, then positive 3. 2m and positive 1 make up my width. Let's multiply. 2m times 2m squared is 4m cubed. 2m times negative m is negative 2m squared. 2m times 3 is positive 6m. Positive 1 times 2m squared is 2m squared. Positive 1 times negative m is negative m. Positive 1 times positive 3 is positive 3. Let's combine any like terms. We have a negative 2m squared and a positive 2m squared. Oh, just like we did before. That added together becomes 0m squared, which is just 0. Positive 6m and negative m, we can combine those. So I'll drop that first term. 4m cubed. The next term is 6m and negative m, so that would be positive 5m. And our last term is 3. So yes, 4m cubed plus 5m plus 3 is the area of this rectangle. So to recap, when you multiply a group like a binomial or a trinomial, you must write parentheses to remember to double distribute or use the box window method when you're calculating the area. And as always, perimeter is the distance around, so all you need to do is add up all those side lengths.